Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. Yeah, we're coming down, we're coming down and I think we have a good chance to hit this support area down here between 33.3 and 38 cents. Um, the imminent one, two setup with a direct breakout here in yellow, yeah, is still possible, but very unlikely now, given that we have broken the um, trend line. Nevertheless, it's still actually on the table because we haven't broken the 40 cent level. Yeah, I did highlight to you before that as long as we're holding 40 cents and we're doing that, it's the 78.6 retracement, we have a chance to move up. But if we break below that 40 cent or 40 and a half cents and get a sustained break below, I'm going to focus here um, further on the deeper retracement. I think it's quite likely now given that Ethereum has also broken key support at, um, what was it at the, um, well, it's relevant level 1940, I think it was. So here's a good chance to come down. I still leave that one two on the table because it's still possible. Um, and this is the next likely option I've got. Yeah, this as a leading diagonal in a wave one and then a wave two to the downside. There is one more pattern, one more. Um, and this would indicate that we rallied obviously of the December low in a wave one. All of this was just an A wave, an overshooting B wave, and we're now coming down in C. That would be the, let's say the last option for the bulls, yeah? But then we would really need to turn around as um, above 27.6 cents. So let's say the next level I'm watching is this here. 33.3 cents doesn't mean we have to go all the way down but in a wave two if this is a leading diagonal and the move down here is a wave two then it has a good chance to turn around here that's sort of what i'm watching at the moment um but if we break below 33.3 then the other option i just showed you will become relevant in a wave one to the upside a wave down B wave up, C wave down. Things change very quickly here at the moment. Um, we have to stay on top of the charts and uh, have to make adjustments as the price makes uh, changes in progress, of obviously. Um, have to adjust and adapt um, to identify the most likely support areas, yeah. And um, yeah, for now, I mean, the 40 cent level is still support. Below that, I've got this support area between 38 cents and 33.3. And um, yeah, just know there is another option for a much deeper pullback, but that's not yet on the table. Yeah, it's just something in the background. So looking at the micro level, I think we can say we had our wave A down, our wave B up, and now we are moving down in terms of lower, you know, micro count. We had possibly here a wave one, here a wave two, could be another one, two set up here, three, four, five. I mean, you know, it doesn't necessarily need to come down too much lower, but I'm watching here, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe this is sort of here now, the third wave at some point over, then there should be a fourth and another leg down to, you know, roughly. I, I take it off again because not 100% clear here to me. Um, if we have that scenario, you know, with the overshooting B wave, then we have an option to say this was a wave one in a leading diagonal, wave two. And then here we are still probably in a third wave. There'll be a fourth and a fifth. So just watching that. Um, but for now, I have no indication the overall downtrend here is over. I would need at least a break above the 42 and a half cent level to indicate that the move down here is over. So. Yeah, a lot in the you know lot of movement going on here at the moment. Um, have to uh, have to stay on our toes here at the moment. Hope you liked the update about Ada. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.